I'm sorry, President Wamonzora. Uh, national leadership, PSL, Pano, MDC, Chief. I have noticed the Panda Vice President, the other Vice President, not here uh, in absentia, but as a queer. And then I think Secretary General, National Chairman, my members of the National Executive, Vese, Varipano, Ndri, Kureme, Kezai, Pamsoroi. Then Pamsoroi, Muri, Yava, Changirai, Kiripano. Uh, President Linda Masariza. I'm sorry, I may say my members of MDCT, and then I must also salute uh, the millions who are watching this um, function uh, on various channels. Uh, I would like to start by thanking. Um, the president of the MDCT and his leadership for inviting me to give um, a brief uh, talk under the title of a good memorial lecture. I will be very brief. I have seen that the program does cover a lot of other speakers. And I also want to salute those who have uh, spoken before me. I did gain a lot of things from that. But I must start by really appreciating that invitation to say something about Morgan Changrai. It won't be sufficient today to say everything that I would have wanted to say, but I respect this occasion precisely because when Morgan Changrai passed on in 14 February in 2018, I was part of those people who very early on the 15th of uh, February went to this house in Highlands. And there was part of the whole funeral from that Highlands process up to when we went to Buhera to bury uh, Morgan Changrai. We, during that funeral process, it was very difficult for friends like me and others to fully have opportunities to say something about Changrai. So I can do that with tender president. I really appreciate it because I would have wanted to say these things, some of the things I'm saying here, possibly. But I'm going with so many people who would not be able to have access to these things, who would never even be able to. And during the heat of the moment, you to Tiripa Namo and Tribu Chema. That opportunity was not availed, and that is why I really deeply appreciate this. Then I also thank the opportunity for another reason. The other reason why I thank uh, the uh, people inviting me to do this is that um, I have been following a lot of discussion since the passing on of uh, Morgan Changeran, both in the media, public media, in my paper, social media, and everywhere. And there is an attempt to tell the life of Morgan Changrai from a pure particular corner, which serves purposes that I'm not sure what purposes they are. That you can read <coughs> and you can tell that this is not Morgan Changrai that we know. Yeah. That uh, you can tell that this is a portion of Morgan Changrai. The totality of Morgan Changrai is not being told. Why should that be so? The totality of Morgan Changrai must be told, not for just our benefit, but out of respect for Morgan Changrai. Mm -hmm. If you want to speak uh, for Morgan Changrai or in his memory, mm -hmm. do justice to Morgan Changrai. Mm -hmm. So even as we sit here, <laughs> uh, I think the point, thank you for that acknowledgement of that deep-seated point. If you want to speak, just do justice to the man. Get him. He's, he's not a person, I mean, only members of his family. Vane right, Yekutora Morgan Changrai, Pango Kumisa in a particular pocket and say, Pango, there is a self serving point that you want to make. But if you are the president, uh, Monsora, when he speaks on Morgan Changrai, he must say that which Morgan Changrai deserves to be said about. If it is Love Moma Duku coming to speak on Morgan Changrai, I have no right other than to say that which is. 
necessary for Shanghai. We must do justice to Shanghai. I think I should make that point clear. It's also clear. That you can then get a lot of people, especially on social media, who do not understand Shanghai and who think that Shanghai is a person uh, to be used to attack other people. Yo, I'm going to be close with Shanghai. Uh, who is organizing that uh, memorial? That is not the purpose of commemorating the life of a person of this position. So you don't do that. You can do that with your mother. You can do that with your father. You can do that with your son and start doing that. But you cannot do that with Morgan Changre. Yes. And this is the point. So, Varu Kombita, I'm not sure I'm not involved there. Varu Kombita, I'm a picture. We do a picture and we wrap and then Changre is Waraka, and I teach him. Move God to Satama picture. And when I'm going to be going through this, uh, I will show you. But of course, you can do that. But I think you do it in the spirit yeah. which some of you were doing to say, look, I also wear God in my picture, I also wear God in your own you know, that should be used to be able to do that. So I can tell you what I have in the three. Just to be brief, uh, Chair. The first one, I, I will be very brief. I just want to say to you and others, what is a memorial lecture? I want to define it. Put on the dictionary, more change it. It is not memorial lecture. Because I think I shall have my teeth go, I can buy it go. As far as one goes, it is not memorial lecture, chi. And I will do this uh, in English. A memorial lecture is a talk that inspires the future from the memory of the life of an inspirational paper, per person. Sorry. It is a talk that inspires the future from the memory of the life of an inspirational per person. So when you give a memorial lecture, a memorial lecture is designed to inspire us, to make us look to the future. But we look to the future drawing our lesson from the life of a particular person, and Shamsa to inspire the future. Which means, therefore, not every deceased person deserves memorial lecture. So, I won't go with memorial lecture at the Tawaku, I couldn't have a better. I asked him where Sanet to have memorial lecture. So, President, we, you won't necessarily deserve a memorial lecture. You are the President, you are departed. You only deserve a memorial lecture. If you are an inspirational person, mm -hmm. and we want to draw inspiration from the future, from your life. But if your life does not inspire, then I teach my memorial lecture. <laughs> so a memorial lecture is only for a person whose life made such a far-reaching impact on society as to be a permanent basis for reflection and inspiration. I will read that again. Could you the memorial lecture in it In it to a person whose life made such a far-reaching impact on society as to be a permanent basis for reflection and inspiration. So you must have a life that can make such an impact on society that we can use that life as a permanent basis. Which means that memorial lectures who go on and on, 100 years from now, there will still be a memorial lecture, Yamogen Changra. But we will all not be there. <laughs> Which takes me to my second point. My second point is who qualifies to do a memorial lecture? <laughs> and then who qualifies to commemorate such a life? Mahabu Bundu can answer. So it comes from my definition. Who qualifies to do a memorial lecture? Who qualifies to commemorate such a life? The answer must be very clear. Any person who knows that life and has something to say about lessons for the future qualifies to give a memorial lecture. Is this clear, really? Because that's what a memorial lecture is. Why I'm saying this is because 100 years from now, you won't be getting Vanam Zuri, Vanam Pariwa, who says Nangandina Changre. We are actually very privileged to be standing here and then giving a lecture on Changre because we are not gone. But are we saying that there will be no memorial lectures that Changre in a good taste of We agree there will be. 
which means that memorial lectures are not so much to be given by a person who says Dindanga na changira is wala kat in Iowa. Muna nenga ato zove nenga za changira eight years from now, and has understood what that life was, and has drawn lessons, who will be able to give memorial lectures. In my example, I have to occupy Jesus for this because the angry lecture is now for any man who ma ma talks about angry. I am going to lecture. Lecture with this so that uh, when we leave, we are not just coming out of. So I will give you the examples. The examples that I was following, they follow angry that Trump was very impeachment. I can say. I'm sure I'm going to have more show. I follow. I see back around the way. Go on up at the TV. But what you would have observed, and everyone would have observed, there is a prayer. Or a, that is repeated in the Senate, the U.S. Senate, and I was told they will keep doing that. Yeah, George Washington's final address. Moses, what did you hear? George Washington's final address. In the repeat, we are never senators are not. But there is no one in America at the moment who was there when the American Constitution was put in place. And eh? but they talk about an American dream. They talk about what they call their founding fathers. I hope we are still in conversation. When you are less than thirty, we are not moving on to zero. So obviously, I'm not talking about our Barugiri Terra, but I'm sure many of you know. We are going to be Israel, Israel, Israel. But ah ah, we are going to see how we are in America now. You can defend what you call the American dream. You get for more than two hundred years. So we would expect Zimbabweans a hundred years from now to be standing on this podium and giving a memorial lecture on Morgan Changire. Was not good to avoid for it. In the hand with the repo and chat out of the next boy, then. But do not defend the right of any Zimbabwean who has understood the life of this man to be able to speak about him, to be able to say, Here is my Morgan Changrai, although I am not in the MDCT. And do this one. Here is my Morgan Changrai, although I never voted for him. Here is my. So that you should expect. Various people <coughs> to be having commemorative functions on the life of Morgan Changre. <laughs> I think therefore I speak to the Changre family. That's why I speak to the family. My nano for my foundation. I could do it in joy again. You know the Morgan Changre chagat chagat. All we have to look at that person is I don't understand who Morgan Changre was and what is the purpose that they see. So who qualifies that? But even though I have defined it this way. I still believe that his family and the political party that he he led up to the end has a moral. They have a moral obligation to continue in the interim to educate the public about who Morgan Changrai was. So Ramon Zolaniti may have a moral obligation to keep doing this, so that the public knows who this. Then they will take up Kutite Memorial Lectures as your time goes on. Then I come to my point, which will be the last one, but it is big. Uh, it says, "So what qualifies me, the last boy Madugu, to to give a brief lecture on Changirai? What qualifies me? I had a personal and a political relationship with Morgan Changirai. Murugu ama welder. Personal nechi, ne political relationship." I will give you few examples, as I want to then give what the lessons are for my lecture. If there is anyone, they might not debate the good who qualifies. I am not sure how many people would have outcompeted me. Could divide the Iowa who qualifies to speak on Changira. I very much qualify for my personal and political relationship. I first knew what Changira is for a serious basis. Kubamuna, December 1994. Before December 1994, I had only had some interaction with Nwachangira when we were law students at the University of Zimbabwe. Morgan Changira was very close to our lecturers, and one of our key lecturers was uh, Kempton Makamwe, mm -hmm. uh, the late Kempton Makamwe, and then there was also the late Zombe. I'm sure the Changira family would know. Yeah. Changira was close to those lecturers, very close to them, and as law students. We were organized from time to time to do an attachment. We must trade union. For me, I was attached to the trade union of the Zimbabwe Catering 
um, uh, and Hotel Workers Union. I know that your president, later on, Agatha Hoshanda in the trade union movement, it is a legal advisor in the trade union movement. He, he will perhaps tell you or he has told you before that. So that in it, I am not going to count that period as a student because then Changirai was distant and I don't need that because Ndaka was a closer relationship na Changirai. In December 1994, that pays our university, Kwandanga Naida Masters, and I had come back to the country. I was lucky to work with an organization that was supporting trade union. Um, and that is what created a special relationship with Tangerai. I think I should mention the name of the organization, although this is not going to I don't think she, she charged Rachel Vito, it's not something wrong. Organization here, you know, the Frederick Ebert Stifter, the FES. I worked with them. Basara was to support the labor movement. These are the people who worked with. From there, so from December 1997, 1994, up to 1998, I was what you would call the legal advisor of the ZCTU, working from the offices of the Frederick Ebert Foundation. This involved a very close relationship na Changirai. I yagaita and zutitingati close kudi. Ne kutiripa social media. I wouldn't say a lot, but uh, what would happen there is that uh, we would be together. So if we would go to meetings, they would go to meetings where, you know, the tripartite, I just give that very brief thing to move understand that. I will mention him just a bit, where you'd get you know, the tripartite meeting, government there, employers there, and the trade unions there. Yeah, it was under the auspice of, you know, the ALAC, and so forth. So I would go to meetings when the Secretary General of and the President of Gibson Spanda, they would have three, and me as the third one, I would sit in between the President and the Secretary General in long, long, long meetings. And then it also involved traveling, sometimes going outside the country uh, in visitations and so forth. I, I mean, I think that... Uh, let me say that I then developed a personal relationship now at Changirai. It was during this period, year after 1994-95, that discussion started for the formation of the National Constitutional Assembly as a constitution reform movement. The ideas that happened and so forth. I want to emphasize here that virtually every person worked with Wachangirai during this period. And I couldn't claim more closeness than the other. <laughs> uh, we worked with the former the National Constitutional Assembly. Uyu Douglas Monzora, who is your president at the moment, he actually qualifies as and don't want to get a questioner role. I read those things. And I think, though, you know, it's nonsense. But uh, they don't sit down and suffer. But I have to say that. That our Pautanga, Gutimun, we are Tutoranes, must not be owned by individuals. Mm -hmm. So we must not out compete each other and say, You are most people, hey, you are most. There is no reason for anyone. Saka Monsora was part and parcel of us at that beginning, Chichi Fomana and say, In Tangataka Wanda, you can't even say, Uyu, 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 we were all there. So if there's someone that has a platform, I go, Nanda Changa Pagat, Gata. That is the language of my talk, which I would not want people to. The public will be able to assess for itself. So, I have a period, you have to. I was close. Unfortunately, period, why I would then be close is because of the relationship I had. You have to work on a trade union. And then my trade unions, I just tell you, could dominate the process. You have to the So, I don't want to mention a wish man, Kire. Gift man, Kire. He's one person who was there, and then we might not remember. And then for anyone who wonder about they are now gone.
Parishmani Kire was there. And he is now the only person who was there when I was there. The Chitaura and Achagira was in the task. Yekunyora Constitution, ye MDC. We did the Constitution, ye MDC, Yagazono Longa Pataka Longa, which two visas. Titori Ma pockets made. I never got it, what passy, and I'm saying that's who put up as a good show. Upon a meeting, you could get a subcommittee, Kupi, Iowa, Akunaza, Gadar, in the Ganyora Constitution. Then we then had to, this was our discussion. There's a branch to constitution now a constitution MDC. In the one or two, the president but that constitution is the constitution that I did in the And even now, when I read it, I still see my phrase. I was now going to change it. I was now going to go and have to So I'm going to buy it. So when you find that constitution, and I want to say today, good morning, the legacy of Changira, we coin the fact that the MDC shall be a social democratic party, which will strive for that formulation. And that, that was a formulation. Where did we get it from? And who is Lucas Rogumis, I should say it. Changira and England, I don't know, the Anagampa constitution in the Labour Party. And by the time you are there, when you rise, who you play, I'm sorry, as in case you are not like, play and I have to quit our power in 1997, right? And so, this is where we got the constitution here. So Changira is going to be saying, I have to go to the constitution, to the E. Who draw draws to the Zulu community? Munizanga Tiga Tiga, Zanga Tiga Tiga constitution. So, Mgabaga and so it's not good. We had several documents, but I have said this point, Yanatore, just to, to really boast about the fact that I am qualified to give a lecture on Chi Mogan. And that I will put and so forth. Just say that. But the Sia Zulu Zagawana, Zamgawana, Pakutaura, way and so forth. And then to close that portion, Changira and so forth, Aganyora Boob. I think you know it, Andre. And then Kanawana, it was not Agambo to Chin, I love Moma Duke, way, Munukondo wearing a bookie Just to see this. And during this period, the Danga Tizanas, Apana Opanang and Shaiwa Kumbawa Changira, he lost his father. Uh, kind of Buhera and so forth. Uh, a day or two as close people. Then of course Pagalosa, his wife, Tangatane, Atuami inclusive government, and lost a grandchild and so forth. I was very close to the family. Even then Pavaka, when he had arm um, inclusive government, Akaita Mchat, Uko, Agachatana, Elizabeth. Tell me and I tell us to criticize inclusive government. And I tell you about the constitution making process and I'm going to run out of Tunga Minutes. And the security would know that. So I had a personal relationship with this person. And finally, I want to close by saying that I do not know my wife, Elizabeth. I got to because I, when he then married, Changela is on issue, I should discuss an in the I told her, huh? I tried to quit on my man. I don't know who is where I did this. He's headed. He's headed. In memorial. Yaranaga, a memorial lecture. Just to demonstrate that. His headed was that he would not want to have another child at that stage. And at that late stage. And we discussed the story uh, on that. But you are not the two. The Jugo Chow one and so forth. So these are the issues. Now, having said this, what qualifies me? There are five things that inspires the future from Shangri's life. Now, Peter, chair. Most members, finish. This is the serious portion of the lecture. Number one, it knows the courage of conviction. 
I'm talking about the five things that inspires the future from Changrai's legacy. Number one, courage of conviction. You believe in certain things. You really want to achieve those things. You see that there are dangers in the way to you achieving those things. But those dangers must not stand in your way to achieve those things. That is what comes out from Sangrai's life. You have to be courageous to fight for what you believe in. Whatever you meet in the way, face those consequences. They are nothing compared to what you want to achieve. So number one, courage of chief, conviction. So when you see, now I was there because then I can proudly say that you have a picture I left in March 2007. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number one, courage of chief. Courage of conviction. If you, then how many times Tangrai got arrested? How many times, whatever, he went through my treason trial? This is when I got a treason. Not to charge with a treason. Tangrai got a trial. So anyone who puts across my various arrests, I look at what we mention all Tangrai with Tangrai, then they know. Who can answer my name? So I might also say again, Ganbori Josera for the way Dragori are in nonsense. There's no proper apply for the people. If you place yourself alongside Changra, and somewhat you kill your own offense, you are going to have a good treason. He is not almost a treason. You tell what I'm going to do. Changra is going a treason trial, a proper treason trial in the high court of the world. The Ben Menashes of this world. But I have a testimony for over 30 days. I didn't know who's there. And we were watching. Do you know the treason chief? Sure. Sir, not appearing in Rotten Rock Court. <laughs> <laughs> so you then say, no, 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 you know, they 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 know, Yagashka by stage Pekuti to state chief distraught dismiss a state case at the close yes state case to dismiss a Yaya Changre and so on. Jai Jagatonga Yagadai and do visa Walshman Nani Nagasel. Ababa not guilty. But you all Changre, you must go on your chief on your defense. Do you know this? Yan Munu Magai to a trial here. You go to Dopi to Gura with men. And evidence, you can see it, you can videos, and so on. That's the person. And then, there are months and months when we're waiting for the verdict, the judgment, Nasi Chabuda, Zwara Yenga Ichibuda. Everyone knows that one of my helicopters, I did it, I did it, it was very serious. That is what we mean by a treason trial. And that is the man who went through a treason trial. And to respect Changirai, we must not put in place the virus, Abuna Munatia suffer to the same extent as this man we, whose life we are commemorating today. Amen. So, do go to correct, correct. And move on. Mm -hmm. So, number one, courage of chief? Conviction. If you believe in anything, if you believe in anything, you must be able to stand out there and suffer for it if you believe in anything. Number two, you know, the unity of purpose. So first is courage of conviction. Number two, unity of chief? purpose. Unity of purpose says, look, we identify that purpose we want to achieve. But to get that thing that we want to achieve, we may not be able to do it on our own. We may need others. Understand? But as we get these others, we don't have to agree with these others on everything. All we need to agree with these others is to achieve the purpose. A Kuna leader in this country who has had this capacity. The capacity to say unity of chief purpose. purpose. But to get unity of purpose, I will have to work with people that I may not agree with on everything. You may naturally work with the person who says, Oh, President Putsek. But yet Mark went about purpose and then I know and it has one. Mark and the people's energy and the water. How you can go? 
That's the unity of purpose. We don't have to agree on every small thing as long as we agree on the bigger thing. That's Changirai. Dear Changirai, dear Changirai, unity of chip. Purpose. Whatever our differences, let's get there. And what do we do? I'll give examples because of where we were. When the MDC was formed in 1999, it was agreed in those meetings, the Nanajman, Kirevesaki, and so forth. Could Iowa, and I want to say it, the Botaras, the Rostar, Van Reku Labour wanted to dominate, but right now, Van Oleka Chimachim. At the Sukwan Sukuta Rachirum Chakanaka Naka. <laughs> That's what they said. I, they why not, I was there. That's why I got, they couldn't write a constitution. So I'm talking a lawyer. I saw one third of the time, I'm going to tell you about Brian. So, right before I was sick, I was going to tell you about the and so forth. But one is the one who 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 is the So it was agreed that they would what was called the labor portion, labor movement portion. And there is the constitutional reform chief portion. Are we clear on that? Mm -hmm. Two really like the, uh, the labor movement, then the constitutional chief movement. Sangre was the one, like he said, uh, he would identify challenges. And that extent. to that extent. Asina kana ene, no competition, no jealous, no anything. If you knew a thing and he knew it would help you. Sangre, I know we are with you. That's where Changrai would work with Anna Monsora. And I shall identify talent in the IIT. I am one person. I agree that my difference is still like political. I know with NCA people driven. But I didn't do that. That was now. And now I'm going to see what you do. I'm going to see what you do. And I am going to see what Changrai would love. The Changrai would love. I see that. 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 But I am a woman. That day. Is that clear? But Mr. Seng, why would one who MDC at that time not see that even at the height of what they thought were differences between me and Shangreku politics, you would get up to tell 2006, Mune conference, the hour after the split, who comes to conduct my elections for MDC Congress year 2006? Where was that discussed? Where was that arranged? Where was I getting my ballot papers? Where was I getting the funding to do that? But I was here. Taito organized a marriage. I do not drive up. That is the way executive is. You want my duke and doja, I should have a My election. And that's what I did. Here, Changra Yang has contested. In that election in 2006, when we discussed, he was telling me, and we discussed that, that the contestation that was going to be very problematic for him. Was your vice president? The I contest I in the Mutombe and get to the Mutombe na toko zani kupe. And we were watching that that contestation. But then the second president, in the end, this was part. The Ruku NCA and Ruku took an MDC for having abandoned the constitutional movement. And then another herald, when I was there, you come away, Maduku blast Changre. You would get hit them. <laughs> Maduku blast Changre. But the next minute, what do you see at an MDC Congress? You see Maduku conducting Maji? My election. Then we have 2008. I was assigned to campaign vigorously to my I think one of the other one. Kutoni ma areas around Ayadea Maduka. There is no need. And there was a time when, when we had that thing, you could is more and so forth. There was an arrangement, you could Tangira, I tried a flight. Some aircraft could I end up no address a rally by his party. And then the last minute goes, ah, Zinema, Zinema problem, Munu wants a good one. Muzi. Then says, okay, Madukunga, I said, I go. This is what would happen. This is in 2008. I'm demonstrating unity of chi purpose. Whatever differences, Changra knew, but when it came to the ballot, Anama Dugu vote for me. But when it came to other things, they will disagree, but we will work together. 
Number three, those years, I want to do five, don't do that, don't become a prophet. Number three, five, can I tell you, not to save it, I will go see the prophets, God, I just need three, I think I have to profess it. So far, we have five. I don't know So, 31, courage of the conviction. Number two, unity of purpose. Whatever our differences, as long as we agree on the purpose, you are with me. It has you make a define, no good room, you would say, agree, Papa. Then, number three, love of the people. Love of the, of the people. Now, whatever we are doing, we are doing it because we love the people. If you love the people of this country, you love the people of our community, you, it will change the way you make decisions. You will be able to ask yourself, I'm this with a personal level. People will always give you the bigger picture. Now, what I loved about Shanghai with this love of the people, was an expression. I don't know if you have a union, but they have a union. In the Pagatanga MDC, Nanatanga is a change in the other. But this tension between my trade union, Nesuma intellectual, Yaka Garerichi, Iriku, in a two woman who was no Pagatanga. Today, I think we intellectual young man, that was retired, and all best are of Super Monson. But he's on the wing, Yakuchi, Yakuma intellectual. But I tell you that we're not to the trade union. But the idea is tension is intellectuals versus the was no you because of my union, but I come in and I don't know what I'm going to do. communication to address So but we should do the two years, the my and this one. So we are together. But love of the people, this is what came from Sangre, kept reminding us about the role of what they would call in the labor movement, the masses. No matter where we are, we are going to expression, we are going to do it. We are going to do it. And we are going to do it. And we are going to do it. And we It was a very popular thing during that time. What does it mean as far as? It is look tested in November. It's the Akuona. But when we show now, that is the only way. It's a very important thing. Love of the of the people. Now we have so many politicians who have no love of the people, only love of themselves, love of his friends, love of. Aiyoh, when I go at this, I will leave Gaziani. Yachangirai, yachangirai is love of the people. So love of the people means no longer connected. Those are my yachangirai. I'm going to go there. Oh my Organize and the provincial GTT was ready at the end of the day, and so forth. Then, number four, don't pay the booze, does the rebels are sorry, chair. Number four, you know, the strategic political positioning. You know, we see a raga, reba, reba, and go, ma, ma, go down. Strategic political positioning. Strategic political positioning. Is Sangre is one size, but no matter like strategic political position. Mugarova, Mugarova, Mugadi, Mumu Zogotago Tato, Genachi. He was very clear that you will not get into power merely by mass action or mass mobilization, but to get into power, you will still need to do a few things. You might need to talk to those who are in government, you might need to link up, make sure to have 100 per vote. We were going to get to 2008, but it was not a great animal, was than an animal. Right, I know the strategic political positioning. You have to position yourself. And this is, I will say that I was part to one of his biggest things, not the other one, I was not part to it. The one I was part to, which is strategic political positioning, was the Senate and anti Senate thing. No, that's not 2005. But the Senate, they know the anti Senate.
Because there was a strategic political opposition. Ah, that is the Senate. And the Buma Senate, there was big up a common job there. But then there was another strategic political opposition in which I did, which also were. You know, it was a global political agreement. But I don't put I don't put I don't I don't I don't put I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't are you benefiting from Tigray's strategic political You cannot benefit, you cannot achieve unless you still ensure that you need a strategic political position. And this is what I'm I praise Tigray for his capacity. When you read Abatote, you read Abatote. I can tell you one thing you must do different. Chagrea Gambati, Pusta, Isuna Pitia, and Dorapana. The guy of Michi, I think let me say this. Did it chill me that I see I chat as a way? He has still a strategic political opposition. Pagay Tanishi, and we can't put a constitution of opposition. Who was a spokesperson? Changere was the first one to pop out of the I got a caller meeting. That's something Love of one another. 
Now, there are so many politicians who would want to use political differences to poison even personal relationships. I'm not a tolerant in it. I teach it. And I must share with you that Chagre was very good at this point. Anyway, political differences are still an unregulated love for one another. And let us not mislead people into believing that we as politicians, we don't relate to the people. They are the president, they are the president, that we were empty. They are not for an impression that we need to do it. And I can tell you that the examples are very much so. But look at their supporters on social media. This is why when I make this point, I went to attend the funeral of my child. He struggled for his people. He was because of a political issue. When you think that what matters is political difference, is political ideology. Yes, we must have our political ideology different and we have a unity of purpose. But we are human beings. To develop and build this country, we must still love one another. And I hope we do this. So, which I remember, I remember that at the end of this lecture, by the way, the leaders are trying to say, "But he distort." What no, I am a team guy. So, what are you going to do? Because how we run it? We are in the room, we are making cakes. Are we? Are we doing it? We are doing it. That's a human being. You are the Prime Minister, you are coming from a different part. Tell me, you are the Prime What are you Because you are a political room. You are not going to say This is me. The leaders here are saying, let's manage our political differences. Let's compete politically. But we are human beings. You can feel what you are doing. Now, what do you see on social media? That is totally, totally out of this world. The leaders of this man is very clear on that point. We must love one another and we manage our political differences. Now with those five things, I want you to remember and I think and should close my thing and say I thank you very much. Mandipam can walk out about Changre and it. And Chamnufana Ngo Kera Home are the five things that I have said Changrai's legacy stands for. I have not exhausted that, but I will. And I will say courage of conviction, unity of purpose, love of the people, strategic political positioning, and finally, five, not allowing political differences to poison personal love of one another. Thank you very much.